I welcome my mothers and fathers in the Lord. I welcome everyone once again. Thank you for joining us for another wonderful day. We thank God for his mercy. We thank God for his grace and his power upon each and every one of us. We thank, thank you, God Lord. For the grace that God has given unto us today once again to thank come to us. We give glory to God. 
everything that the Lord is doing in our life. I do pray I agree alone with God in your long logo. Sure. If you are not Get every Thursday, eleven o'clock. We thank God, we give glory to God. We honor God in our I do I do I <laughs> I do perform a boy, you lori wa. I do perform it also no yi. I do perform if you mono yi on your machine. I do perform a yellow baton fi wa mono. A yellow baton jeka shino. A yellow baton dari ese wa. A shufe mu wa shino. A shufe gbe wa shubu shubu olon wu je. I do perform gbe yi ga yi logo. I wa te yi pe. I wa te yi pe. I do perform i pe yi ni no aye wa. I do perform ori ofe yi ni no aye wa. I do perform ogu yi on. I do perform bi te ti mu wa bo. I do pay I welcome my mothers and fathers in the Lord. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. God bless each and every one of you. I welcome our guests class of tonight, Pastor Yemi Emiola. Thank you very much, sir, for accepting our invitation. God bless you as you have come tonight. God will show us case in each and every one Amen. Of you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. And Amen. in Jesus' name, before I would quickly like to call upon my Father and the Lord Superior Babadi, please lead. Can you please give us prayer of sanctification, prayer of forgiveness of sin, and thanksgiving, if, sir. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you, sir. Superior Babadi. Thank you, ma. God bless you, ma. Ada okwe kwa da. Sodo eni to lokwe. Ada okwe kwa da. Sodo re. Ada okwe kwa da. Sodo lo no batu no kwe. Awa kule she kawa manyi yolo wa. Awa kule she kawa manyi yolo wa. Awa kule she kawa manyi yolo wa. Baba walo je yolo no wakwa. Awa kule she kawa manyi yolo wa. Waleluya o. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was, As it in, the was in the beginning, it's now and never now, shall be. Never shall be. More without without Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Oni yori ibu kumba lò wò lù wà ati o dudu lò wò lò rù i bada rè. I yi ni rà wò ti xa fè rè ti xa fè rè o lò rù chà kò bù e gbe ori yin sò kè nye nò nò. A ni kà gbe yin sò kè nye lè kwa yè rà yè kè o pa o gò kè o wò rì platform i kò yè a si mè mò. A mi jè sò kè. A lè o pa o gò yì o lù wà tò lè tò si lak bà lè o gò o nò nè o pa o gò a mi jè hò bà. Mi mò. Jè subscribe sò lì mè kè Daddy, we just want to thank you thank for you keeping much. us alive to witness another Thursday in your presence. May your name be exalted in Jesus' name. 
Amen. So thank you. What you have been doing on this platform, what you are going to do today, and what you normally do always, me. We are in your presence at this moment. Daddy, come and forgive us our sin. Amen. The sin we've already committed knowingly and unknowingly that can debar our prayer today, that can debar all what you are going to do today. Daddy, come and forgive us. Amen. You are the God of certification. Our body and our soul, our homes and this platform. Daddy, come and satisfy it. Amen. The blood that you shed on the month of Calvary that you come and use it to satisfy this platform today amen all distraction oh god we bound it today all distraction that can that can disturb us on this platform today that they come and disable them amen and time we finish this program today let us have the cause to glorify your name amen. thank you lord for hearing our prayer in jesus you, name lord. i pray Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, Amen. let us shout one powerful hallelujah to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, thank you very much, my Father, and the Lord. God bless you. We thank God once again. As we all know, this week is the fifth week of our revival, which tagged pulling down the strongholds. This week is our fifth week, and we thank God for his power and his mercy. Since the beginning of this revival, we give glory to God for the for showcasing Himself. We give glory to God for the manifestation of His power. For example, last week was awesome week, and we know that this week is going to be another excellent, excellent night, night in the presence of the Lord. I'm along Jerry Agbarare, you said to Koja, but she got to Jerry Agbarare, Latin Berry, or the Majeria Barare, Titi Dio Queenie, Nia Shale, or long to my Fiara, or to push it in Pare, or don't know a year in Pokonga, Mukbala, Drakuba, what I was so you, Nia Shale, or Mukata, Bimaji, Amari Mulo, or Nia Shale. We were near Shale, who need Lonia song. Please kindly give us prayer of sanct of prayer of forgiveness of sin and thanksgiving. If you are there, my shout a big hallelujah, man. Hallelujah. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name that is above every other name. Amen. You have said that if we say we have no sin, the truth is not in us. Yes, Lord. But that if we confess our sin, that you are kind and merciful to forgive them unto us. Yes. Father, we pray that you forgive our sins, O Lord. Amen. Amen. Let not our sins disturb our prayers tonight. Amen. Amen. Let not our sins be a barrier to come unto you, O Lord. Amen. Amen. You have promised us that if we, your people, can humble ourselves and seek for the forgiveness of our sins, you said you will hear us and you will heal our land. Yes, Lord. Mighty Jehovah, as we have come tonight, O oh Lord, be merciful unto us. Amen. Amen. Lord of Jesus, shed a Calvary. Let it be sufficient to atone for our sins. Amen. Amen. God, Jehovah, let us see thee tonight. Let us feel thee. Let us know Amen. that you are with Amen. us. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Meet us all at the point of all our needs, Father. Amen. And let us have cause to glorify and magnify your name at the Amen. end of this service, O Lord. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you very much, my mother and the Lord. God bless you, man. God will continue to empower you and strengthen you. Amen. Amen. I pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Now, I'd like to call upon our Father in the Lord, our Father, Prophet Moses Adedimpe, to give us, to lead us in praise and worship for the next 15 minutes. If you are there, so shout a big hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God in the highest. Uh, Amen. I really appreciate God for this opportunity again today to be here to minister to you in songs. 
uh, I'll just do it brief because I'm not uh, I'm, I'm not around in a place I can be able to express myself better. So <laughs> let's just focus on what we're about to do now. It's not the loudness that matters. It's, it, it's the connection of the of, of the spirit that matters. It's the That's focus of the spirit that matters. That's We're about it. to worship the Lord in the way that God wants us to do it tonight. Thank mm. you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank I'm getting all the ministers of God on the platform. I'm mm. sure my very good friend, Pastor Emiola, all the way from Qatar. God bless you for honoring us today. Thank I'm you. Thank and, you. Remy, and all the people that's there. <laughs> it's going to be amazing today. It's going to be super <laughs> today. Just key to the flow of the Holy Ghost. Key to the flow of the Holy Ghost. Let's just worship the Lord and say, Oluwa. Any lato be you, O Lua, Shiva, any lato be you, A ribiti, A rabata, Any lato be you, A ribiti, O no marabata, Any lato be you. Oh, Lua. Hmm. Igbatiko sala baru kwa kama. Chebe yile wani befuwa. Igbatiko seni togba wani no shoro. Chebe yile tengwa kwa wawo. Babababi. Tori e la chekpa no kwa la sa wikpe. E yila to bi chukwa. Ugo no mosto te kibo. Oh, Lua. 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 Hey, you are you are Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. You are Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Yahweh. Alpha. Omega. Omega. You are Yahweh. Alpha. Omega. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Yahweh. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. Omega. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. Omega. To ba mo ni yiko, to ba de mo ni yiko, ni bi to wa nye, eh, koma ko o le ju satu, o le ju sosi, o le ju siwadu, o le ju senyi, cha a mi shokwe, a re e cha anje kini, a re e mouv, o ni, o un bobo lo le she, Un bobo lo le she, un bobo lo le she, olor a ye la ye, un bobo lo le she, un bobo lo le she, un bobo lo le she, olor a ye la ye, un bobo lo le she, un bobo lo le she, un bobo lo le she, olor a ye la ye, un bobo lo le she. Un bobo no le che, 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 un bobo Oh, 
O de bagbe emi omore ara
Emi ba legberun wa fun oyin olugbala ogo olorun ba isegun o ri re re ogo aye gbeje su ange ehun le ange ehun o le emu ate ate Thank you. Ami <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow is my is my marriage anniversary. I want yes. everybody to be on my YouTube to celebrate Definitely. with me. Yes, so, thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless, God bless you, you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. We appreciate you so much. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, my Father and the Lord. God bless you. Now, I would like to call upon our Father and the Lord, uh, my Father, my teacher, my mentor, all the way, <laughs> from, all the way from Qatar. I welcome you, sir. If you are there, shout a big hallelujah. It's our minister of tonight. He's going to lead us in word ministration, prayer ministration, prophetic <laughs> declaration. If you are there, shout a big hallelujah, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome, you are welcome, sir. Glory, welcome, glory, sir. honor, and adoration. Blessed be to your holy name. Blessed be to your holy name. Glory to God. Alpha. God. There is no other God, no other God. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Lord, to the Jesus. Your 
Yes, yes. yes. Everlasting Father, Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, mm -hmm. the controller of my life, the anchor of my salvation. Without him, we are nobody. Without him in our life, our life is empty. Yes. Sir. We worship you because every time we call unto you, you answer us. Yes, Lord. We bless you for the opportunity you've given to us to yes, gather yes, here yes, today. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. It's not by power, it's not by man. Mm, yes, Lord. My mercy says the Lord of hosts. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you over this ministry. Thank you, Lord. Thank you over this prayer gathering. Thank you over our life. We thank you for our children. We thank you for our spouse. We thank you for our son, Major. We thank you for Nigeria. We thank you for each country that we are in. Father, we say thank you. We thank you over the end of our life. We are not better than those that has gone yesterday. For your mercy, oh Lord, your 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 oh Lord, we have thousands of people. It is not worthy of our worship. It is not worthy of our celebration. Father, we say thank you. We say thank you. Let all glory return to you. Let all honor return to you. Let all adoration return to you. Let all adoration return to you. Let all adoration return to you. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 It, it, it's, been, it's been a pleasure to be here. I thank just you, want to Lord. thank. I want to thank my friend, my brother, Prophet Adebin Kwe. I really appreciate you. You've been, you know, you've been pulling me here and there. And I know whenever I come down to Nigeria, I will chase you, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will tell Madame to get me nice black amala. And we do thank you for being amazing, brother. It's a celebration. Oh, that. And our oh, prophetess, Prophetess Sarah, when we spoke this afternoon, it's like we've known ourselves for years. And thank you for sharing your knowledge. Thank you for, you know, we, we discussed an in-depth discussion. Sadly, the network did not give us forum to <laughs> communicate the way it should be. But I can tell you that what we discussed is been resonating in my heart. And I thank you. I bless your ministry. And I thank everyone, all the fathers and the mothers and those that have prayed joining us. I say welcome. It's good to have you. And it's good. Yeah, Yemi Emiola is my name, and I'm 
speaking from Doha, Qatar. I am uh, I am a preacher, preacher of the world. I preach nothing but Christ. I don't preach religion because our Lord is not bound by religion. When in the, see, sometimes we read the Bible like Shakespeare, but the Bible is not like a novel like Chino Achibe. No, the Bible is not like an author of a Stephen. No, it's not a mayor of Casterbridge. It's not Animal Farm. Bible is God <laughs> to guide us and to tell us about what God is all about. And it is a principle that we must follow if we want to fulfill our purpose. That's right. I'm so passionate about purpose. I'm also passionate about destiny. I came from a background where almost impossible things are not possible. I came from a place where people consider as a forgotten. Bible say, can good thing come out of Nazareth? For the Savior, God came out of Nazareth. If you are there, why don't you open your mouth and shout hallelujah? Because the Savior hallelujah. God will come out hallelujah. from Nazareth. Nazareth hallelujah. was a forgotten city. Nazareth was a forgotten city where people thought nothing good can come out of it. And don't let us pretend we look very good, our face looks shiny, but if we have to look back, if not for Christ for our life, if not for Jesus for our life, we wouldn't have been where we are today. Some of us have been neglected. Some of us are not being able to reckon with. But hey, we are here because of the name of Jesus Christ. Why don't you shout hallelujah wherever hallelujah. 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 Hey, Amen. 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 That stone has become the corner stone. So it is not we that made it so, but because our maker made it so for us. Mm. So uh, when I discussed with my sister this afternoon, uh, she we discussed extensively about pulling down strong. Oh. <laughs> and, and I said to her that uh, I, <laughs> you called me to be part of this, but maybe I might be a little bit controversial, but I will advise you to stay connected with me so that you won't miss <laughs> any of this administration. When we talk about stronghold, do we really know what strong good is all about? To start up with, we need to know what is strong good. We need to, when we know what is strong good, we need to know the characteristic of strong good. And we must understand what strong good really represents. So, I will be reading from the book of, open your Bible to the book of 2 Samuel, 2 Samuel 5, chapter 5, verse 1 to 10. 2 Samuel, chapter 5, verse 1 to 10. If you are a good reader, because I want it to be an interactive section, I can read it myself. But I want everybody, if you have your Bible, you have your iPad, you have your internet, you have your laptop, whatever you are having your Bible from, open it to the book of first, Second Samuel, rather. Second Samuel chapter 5, verse 1 to 10. And it came to pass. Thank you. And it came to pass. After this, mm -hmm. that the king of the children of Ammon died. Mm-hmm. And Anon, his son, reigned in his stead. Mm -hmm. Then said David, I will show kindness unto Anon, the son of Nahash, as the father showed kindness unto me. And David sent to comfort him by the hand of his servants for his father. And David's servants came into the land of the children of Ammon. Verse three, 
And the princes of the children of Ammon said unto Ammon their Lord, Thinkest that thou that David doth honor thy father? Madam, are you reading? Excuse me, are you reading Second, Second Samuel. Samuel chapter 10? No, 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 chapter 5. Second oh, Samuel God. 5, verse 1 to 10. Second oh, Samuel 5, 1 to 10. I beg your pardon. Five, no one to ten. Then yes, came NIV. Out of, if you can read from NIV, I will appreciate that. I'm reading from King James's. Okay, it's okay. Then came all the tribes of Israel to David. Is that it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, he yes, said. Ma all the tribe of Israel came to David at Hebron and said, Unto the same one you're reading from, right? And said, saying, <laughs> Behold, nah. we are thy bone and thy flesh. Also in time past, when Saul was king over us, thou was he that led us out and brought us in Israel. And the Lord said to thee, thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be a captain over Israel. Am I still reading that passage? Yes, mom. Yes, Go ahead. And three, so all the elders of Israel came to the king to Hebron and King David made a, a league with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel. And David was 30 years old when he became to reign and he reigned 40 years. Verse five, in Hebron, he reigned over Judah seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem, he reigned 30 and, and three years over all Israel and Judah. And the king and his men went to Jerusalem onto the Jebusites and the inhabitants of the land, which spake unto David, saying, Except thou take away the blind and the lame, thou shalt not come in thither thinking David cannot come in thither. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion. The same is the city of David. Verse 8, And David said unto that day, Whosoever getteth up to the gutter and smited the Jebusites and the lame and the blind that are hated of David's soul, he shall be chief and captain. Wherefore they said, the blind and the lame shall not come into the house. Verse 9. So David dwelt in the fort and called it the city of David. And David built round about from Milo and inward. And the last verse says, and David went on and grew great. And the Lord God of hosts was with him. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you so much. The God, God bless the glory. reading. I, I sincerely Amen. appreciate. But I would like to emphasize on something because uh, I am so connected to NIV. And uh, why I say <laughs> NIV? Right. Sorry, I read this. King the breakdown of this of the English and for our new generation, we some of them we need to flow along oh. with their level of understanding. That is why I make NIV my favorite. So <laughs> when we when we when we talk to them, then we understand the basic word. There are some words in King James that. You just need to read three times before you can catch the rest. <laughs> but people like you, our mom, I uh, no doubt that we all understand what was written in there. But for the sake of some of our young generation, I would like to read from the from NIV version. I read from the book of Second Samuel, chapter five, verse one, ten. Okay. NIV. I read. 
all the tribes of Israel came to David at Hebron and said, we are your own flesh and blood. In the past, why Saul was king over us. You are the one who led Israel on their military campaigns. And mm -hmm. the Lord said to you, to we shepherd my people Israel. And you will become their ruler. Chapter two, verse 3. Mm -hmm. When all the elders of Israel had come to King David at Hebron, the king made a covenant with them at Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king. And he reigned for he reigned 40 years. In Hebron, he reigned over Judah seven years and six months. And in Jerusalem, he reigned over all Israel and Judah and three years. David, the king and his men marched to Jerusalem to attack the Jebusite who lived there. <sighs> they live there. They don't, they don't own it. So if that Bible is your Bible, underline the Jebusite because I'm going to tell you more about the Jebusite who lived mm -hmm. there. The Jebusite said to David, you will not get in here. Even the blind, they humiliate David See how they ridiculed him. Even the blind and the lame can ward you off. They thought. David cannot get here. Nevertheless, David captured the fortress of Zion, which is the city of David. On that day, David has said, anyone who conquered the Jebusite, we have to use the water shaft to reach those lame and blind who are David's enemies. That is why they say the blind and lame will not enter the palace. David then took up residence in the fortress and called it City of David. He built up the area around it from the appearances inward and he became more and more powerful because the Lord God Almighty was with him. Amen. 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 If we follow this Bible passage gradually, we will understand that the Jebusite, they are the one dwelling in a place where belong historically, biblically belong to the Israelites. But because, because of their strategic positioning, let me tell you, people of God, if you want to pull down stronghold, you need to first of all understand three things. Number one, you must understand what is stronghold. Number two, you must understand where is the location of the stronghold. Number three, you must understand the weakness point of the stronghold. You must be strategic enough to understand their weaking part because stronghold always dominates on the high side because they position themselves and they thought no one can get to us. Their positioning gave them power to dominate and to suppress. How did I know that? They are telling... David, if you check, where's it again? If you check, if you check, if you check. Um, I will read again from verse 6. The king and his men marched to Jerusalem to attack the Jebusite who lived there. The Jebusite said to David, you will not get in here. Can you imagine? Because they understood perfectly that if we want to suppress these people, we must go higher above them. That is why if you see, and what thing we did not understand that Jerusalem of today are the inhabitants of the Jebusite that David conquered. That was why David naming the city of David. I'm going to that in details later on. So they mock David because they thought because they are in the right position 
and the Jebusite, they built irrigation of water because those days there was scarcity of water. So they built dam around so that they can get more water. So what they built is in a very strategic position, very strategic location that it will be difficult for them to be conquered by any enemies. So our stronghold, the stronghold you want to pull down, they are very strategic. They understand very well what you don't understand. Satan is organized. Devil is more organized than most believers. Even though he strikes with the spirit of disorganization, but he himself is organized because he knows very well that if you are not organized, he can deceive you. He can destroy you if you are not organized. Here, this is a place where the historically belong to the Israelites. And this is David that the Jebusite, they are trying to mock at him. What are the things that mock you because they seem that you are powerless? Sometimes it is good to, un to be underestimated so that not every time you will show your capability to your enemies. Not every time they should know your next tactic. It is good for your enemy to underestimate you so that they will not know where your next joker will come from. Amen. Can you see, hear Amen. me? Yes. Amen. All right. What I'm saying in all share believers is that location matters. Your positioning matters if you really want to pull down the stronghold. Why they underestimate David is simple because they see David as someone who has no capability, who has no good position to compete or to contend against them. But one thing they did not know is that David has been mocked at before. How did I know that when David wanted to fight Goliath, Goliath told David, am I a dog? That you come to attack. So try to stop David because he was telling David that this man has been a warrior from his childhood. Saul was referring to Goliath. Let me tell you, people of God, sometimes when you find yourself in the circle of my whole peak people, people that always believe that things are not impossible, that things are not impossible to be done, they can kill your mindset. They can kill your thinking. How did I know that? How did I know that? Because Goliath of God are always, always coming. Sometimes the warrior you are fighting are not actually warrior. They are not even as strong as you are. But your mindset, the leverage on your conditioned brain that has been programmed that this thing is not going to happen. This is what killed my mom. This is what killed my dad. It's going to kill me. Sometimes we are not fighting against any stronghold. It is our belief system that is working against us. Am I talking? Yes, sir. How did I know? It's because Goliath always appeared to the people of Israel as a like a giant. But excuse me, Saul was tall also. Saul was a giant man also. If we put Goliath and Saul together head to head, Goliath is not as tall as that much taller than Saul. But the moment you think you can have the capability to confront or to possess what belongs to you. You became an imbecile. You became an imbecile to something that you are more superior than. Oh, they don't get what I'm saying. I wish they can catch what I'm trying to express. Let me repeat this to you. 
Goliath is not actually as warrior as people thought he was. But because he leveraged on what the Israelites don't have. How did I know that? He said, the Philistines said, don't let blacksmith be in Israel. Because the moment they have black meat, they can be able to have their home too. What are the things that the devil are withholding from you that don't want you to have? Because they know clearly that once you get this, you're going to possess your possession. <laughs> Our belief system is what is what is working, what is actually working against us. In most cases, they said to the Israelite that make sure they don't have black meat. If they don't have black meat, they can make their own military equipment. And let us give, Holy Spirit, help me to talk to these people. Let us give Saul that we can manipulate that we can choose, that we can dictate for over his own people. Let us give Saul, only Saul, a flood and a steel. Jonathan, two of them in the whole Israel, only two of them have spear. That was why when they gave David that spear and they wore him that or military dress, he said to them that, excuse me, I am not used to this. It is good when your enemy or your adversary, they underestimate you. Mm. Nobody knows when David was in the wilderness, was in the forest, taking care of the sheep. David was a shepherd, but it's not just a shepherd, a scuffling shepherd. A shepherd that knows how to fight. A shepherd that knows how to protect. A shepherd that knows how to guide what has been entrusted into his care. This is what Joseph, uh, David was. And because your experience the pain that you've gone through in the journey of life could give you tactics and experience and skill to confront your next Goliath. It was the experience of David that gave him the audacity to confront Goliath. That's right. When the lion came, I ran after the lion. I killed I, the lion. Yes, it's amazing. My mm. I mean, this is, this is just amazing. He killed mm. the lion and the sheep was not harmed. Mm. Sometimes, believer, in the process of fighting, we kill what we are fighting for instead of us to be observant, to tackle what we are fighting mm. against. Oh, they don't get what I'm saying. How we they can. Yeah. Let me repeat myself. In the process of fighting, mm. we want to pull down the stronghold but you need to check yourself. Maybe you yourself or your wife or your children or anybody are already against what you are doing. They might not, it's not necessarily means they are spiritually against you, but maybe they are not in agreement in what you are doing and things are not working the way it should work. You must understand that you need to fix. <laughs> You need to fix your environment first. You need to equip yourself. David was equipped. David was a fighter. David was a shepherd boy. But they thought it was the same David that was a shepherd boy that he was talking to. Mm. But this was the same David that killed Goliath. He don't just kill Goliath. He chopped off Goliath's head. So, <laughs> with his own sword. With Goliath's sword. So what I'm saying is that David knows, thank you, Ma. David knows how to use the weapon of the enemy against the enemy. Sometimes 
We don't need to pray that our enemy should die. We just need that God should give us strategic to outsmart and to bypass our enemy and allow God to deal with them. Yes. I was telling our prophetess this afternoon that uh, each time I travel back home, I always visit certain place for prayer. And uh, this July, I visited the same place. And uh, when I got there, I, I was there for two nights and I was praying. I went with a, my prayer partner. If the last day when we are about to close, personally, we went there, but it coincided with their program. So after the program, we attended the program. When we were about to leave, I saw one family that I have known for 26 years. We used to attend the same church, the same prayer grant 26 years ago. When I saw this family, I did not perceive any changes in their life. They were as the same as they used to be 26 years ago, and they are still praying the same prayer. Mm. Sometimes you don't need so fall heaven before God answers you because all the tools we need. Bible says my people perish. Not people of devil, not people of Satan, not, uh, not his enemy. My own people perish because they because lack, of, lack knowledge. of knowledge. So sometimes what we need to pull down the stronghold is strategic. And our team in the book of... Uh, Second Corinthians, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Second Corinthians. Okay. Where is it? Where is it again? Ten, three to five. Second okay. Three, three Can to somebody five. read it for me? Second Corinthians. But for Ten, them, three for three those who live in the world. Okay. I'm reading from NIV, sir. Thank you, sir. Go ahead. For those. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. Okay. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. Amen. <laughs> On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish mm -hmm. strongholds. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. We demolish arguments and every petition that mm -hmm. sets itself up against the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. ...by the girl's honesty. The businesswoman asks what else she does. She is... I've already finished verse 5, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'm yes, just sir, getting sir. some... Uh, I will advise that uh, if we are not talking, we should just mute our... Yes, I've muted our, please, it's very important. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, sir. What we are fighting, that is what God is trying to say. We don't fight like them. We don't show ourselves like them. We don't let them understand our strategy. We don't even need to show to them that we are fighting them. They thought what they have built would be like a barrier that will stop David not to get to them. It was what they built that David used against them. Believers, we must understand that not every prayer point are meant for us. Stop praying blandly. When they call on any prayer point, you need to shuffle it. Does this belong to me or not? Don't follow. Learn to be different. Jesus was different. That was why the Pharisees and Sadducees, they see, most people don't do research. Believer, this is the time we must do research. When they say the Pharisees and the Sadducees, you must understand what it stands for. These are the lawmakers. These are decent, intelligent people who made law to suit their own interpretation. As a matter of fact, <coughs> They are perceived as some people 
who are holy, maybe they might not be holy, but they are programmed the mindset of people to make people perceive them as holy people. But when Jesus came to the world, his own intention completely contrary to them. They thought he came for them, but they don't know that this assignment is completely different because the Israelites, they are under the rule of the Romans. The Jews are under the oppression of Romans when Jesus came to the world. So they thought our Messiah has come who will fight the Romans on our behalf. But one thing they don't understand that Jesus has different agenda. Me and you are talking about Jesus today simply because he understood perfectly his assignment. You cannot pull down stronghold if you don't know your assignment. If you cannot pull down some gold if you don't know what is your purpose. David understood. You can see what they are saying about him. Let me go back to the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 5. All the tribes, all the tribes of Israel came to David. How? Oh, all the tribes at Hebron and said, we are your own flesh and blood. In the past, while Saul was king over us, you were the one who led Israel on the military campaigns. These are a set of people that they are trying to tell David, they are trying to remind David about his achievement. Sometimes you need to check your achievement and understand what are the strategies required for you to get that result. We must open our mindset. We must understand that our heart is what controls our life. Our thinking is what... David is a kind of man. He's a warrior. He's a man that never back down. Is a man that never give in. Anything David perceived that it belongs to him, he fight for it. Five minutes more, sir. Thank you. So, my brothers and sisters, how I wish I can stress this further. We're going to invite you more to come and teach us on the topic. <laughs> but let me tell you something. That's a short of time. To pull down a stronghold, you must be strategic. You must understand that if you yourself are not the stronghold that you are trying to pull down, you must also understand your position in God. Apostle Paul says, I can do all things through Christ was trending me. He understood that he has a physical strength, but he needs spiritual strength through Christ. I bet you Jesus has been passing through the lake of Gennesaret not just once. The church people will preach to you that it was grace that led Jesus to enter Peter's boat. Excuse me, I disagree completely. I might say Jesus has been passing through the lake of Gennesaret not once, not twice. He has seen what Peter is capable of. Jesus don't waste resources. God don't waste resources. That was why he gave one the parable of talent. He gave one to one son, he gave two to another, he gave five to another. Jesus give to us according to our capacity. What God has deposited in you, are you using it rightfully? So you must understand who you are before the Lord. You must know your stand. You must know what God kept inside of you. Don't be like the sons of the scavers. You must know if you have what it takes, to pull down the stronghold. 
Unfortunately, um, we don't have more time because I have written a whole lot of things down, but I believe if Jesus starts, I will have another opportunity to give you the breakdown of what I've written down. But I want to say to you, my sisters, my brother, especially my brother, my friend, uh, Prophet Adebinkwe, it's, it's been a pleasure to be here. And I thank you so much, uh, Prophet Sarah. I really appreciate the honor and I'm not taking it for granted. So uh, I need to obey the protocol. And I believe that if Jesus tarries, I will be given another time to break and to analyze what we need to do as a believer. We all have what it takes to pull down the stronghold. But if you don't discover what it takes, you will be running into the stronghold. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you, sir. Can you lead us in prayer for the next five minutes, sir? Yes. Thank you, sir. Everlasting Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, very thank you, Lord. Yes. We give you glory, honor, and adoration to your only name. Thank you, Lord. Only thank you, Lord. you we will worship. Only you we will bow. To. Thank you. We Lord. thank you for the opportunity that you've given to us. Oh Lord, we will deliver your word expressly, as you have commanded me to do. The word that I've delivered this midnight, Lord. Let it be fruitful in their life. Amen. Let it help them Amen. to redirect their steps. Amen. Let it help them to be able to identify who they are in your presence. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, Amen. my God. The strategy that we need, the skill that we need, the wisdom that we need, the understanding that we need, so pull down all the strongholds in our life. Oh, Lord, my God, please give it to us. Amen. My Amen. Lord and my God, you have spoken your word. This word that I've spoken, don't let it stand against me on the day of judgment. Amen. Amen. As we are about to depart now, oh, Lord, I want you to guide us lead us, Amen. protect us. Amen. We Amen. thank you because every time we call unto you, you always answer us. Yes, Lord. For in Jesus' you, precious name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, our Father and the Lord. That was wonderful and powerful. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We're going to invite you again next week to come and minister unto us on this topic because it's a very deep topic and we need, there's a lot that we need to understand regarding pulling down strong goals, which many of us don't have idea of or we don't understand. I mean, you have really gone deep, deep, deep into the topic and it's all in detail. And we would like to invite you once again next week to come and take us through this topic again. I know you have a lot to tell us. You have not finished, but I pray that God Almighty will give us the grace and see us through next week when we shall meet again. And also, I'll be inviting you again to come and teach us in this particular topic as well in one of our interactive sessions. I thank you very much for joining us tonight. God bless you. And thank Thanks. you very much sir, for accepting all our, our invitation. I pray that God Almighty will continue to strengthen you and empower you. The spirit Amen. of God Amen. will pass from you. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the word of God. God will continue to bestow it upon you. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 My Father and the Lord, so pray everybody, please, can you quickly pray for our Father before our Father leave, sir? Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, ma. God bless you, ma. Our Father and our God, once again, we thank you. We give all glory to you for being with your servant that is on the platform this night. May your name be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Daddy, Amen. I pray, as you've already watered us this evening, I pray the anointing upon your life will never run dry. Amen. Daddy, I will call you again to come and preach to us. The Lord will be with you. Amen. Wherever you may be at this moment and your ministry, the Lord will be with you and be with your family. Amen. Amen. Thank you Lord, for hearing Amen. our prayer. Thank in you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 In, Jesus in Jesus' name. name. Thank Amen. you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. God Amen. Bless you, sir. Thank you. Closing Thank prayer. Thank you so sir. much. Thank you, sir.
and benediction. Jehovah, Mimo. Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, okay. once okay. again, Daddy, we thank you. When we want to start this program, we call upon you and you'll be with us. There is no any distraction, Daddy. May your name be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Daddy, I pray. All what we've already had tonight, Daddy, let it germinate good in our life. Amen. By the time we are searching for the kingdom, when we are going to be on your right hand at the kingdom, at the end of our sojourn on this life, don't let us be wanting in Jesus' name. Amen. And by the time we come here next week, when we, we invite our reverend and our pastor to come and pray for us again, that they come and be with him. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for hearing Amen. our prayer. As Thank we are you. going to our different homes, come and satisfy Amen. our house, Amen. satisfy our homes. Amen. Satisfy the sleep that we are going to sleep tonight. So, Lord, come Amen. and be with us. Amen. All distraction, all the evil spirit that is walking about in the night. Don't let them locate mm -hmm. our homes. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for hearing mm -hmm. our prayer. Thank In you, Jesus Lord. name, I pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. May the grace of our Lord mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, Holy. the mm -hmm. love of God, Holy. and the sweet fellowship of the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit Holy. be with us now and forevermore. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 In Jesus name. Jesus. The Lord's prayer. Father, 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 who art in heaven, who art in heaven, I will be thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive the trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Forgive us from all evil. In thy kingdom. The power of the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. 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 Surely, surely, shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us shout one powerful hallelujah to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, glory to you. Go to thank, sir. God bless you, sir. We like to thank everyone for joining us tonight. Starting from our special tonight, we thank you very much for honoring our invitation. And all our viewers on Facebook and YouTube, we thank you. God bless you all. Umra Yolama Su. Bye for now. And God bless you all. Bye. Good night, everyone. Thank you very much. Good night. Okay.